All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at our first mod in the 1.2 pre-release. As you can probably tell from this annoying pop-up that is here every time I come into this menu, but oh well, what are you going to do? So, for our first mod in the pre-release today, we are going to be having a look at EVA parachutes and ejection seats, which is being revived by Linux Guru Gamer. Now, this is a revival of the original Vanguard Technologies EVA. EVA Parachutes mod that released, I think, about three years ago or so, and then subsequently went quiet, sadly, and now is being brought back to life. And I always love when we do have these revival mods, especially on a particular piece of work like this, which does look to add into the game, of course, parachutes for when your Kerbal's on EVA, and a beautiful ejection seat system to save your Kerbal's lives, which I definitely need, because frankly, let's be honest here, I've killed a lot of Kerbal's, and this whole mod could have saved a lot of their poor green little lives. So let's head right on into the space plane hangar to take a look at what makes this possible. Now we'll grab a Mark I cockpit and zoom in here, and then head down to the utilities tab where we'll find the two parts that make the ejection system possible. And it's quite an interesting thing because it's not built into your capsules. If you want to eject your Kerbals in an emergency, you have to install one of these ejection modules. And we have two of them here, the first one being a single Kerbal ejection system. So if you just have a pod with a single Kerbal for the pilot, this is what you want to use. We also have the 2A ejection cover, which will eject three Kerbals, or rather, up to three Kerbals. So if there's only two inside of the capsule, it will only, of course, eject two two of them, or even one, or up to the maximum of three. And if you do need to eject any more Kerbals than that, you're in luck. You can actually still do that, as if you add additional ejection modules onto your ship, it will continue to eject more Kerbals. So for instance, this one right here, of course, is for ejecting three Kerbals, but what if you only have two and you don't feel like having one of those larger ones? You can just attach onto your cockpit two of the single Kerbal ejection systems and that will work just fine for ejecting two Kerbals. Or if, hey, if we now have five Kerbals somehow, boom, now we can eject five. But here's the thing, it's got to be on the command pod they're ejecting from. So if we have a Kerbal in here and then a Kerbal back here, well, he's out of luck because all the ejection modules are on this first command pod. And that goes for the rest of the ship, too. You can't put the ejection module onto, say, a fuel tank in the back. It has to be on the command pod where the Kerbals are. So we'd need one of these guys right over there for this Kerbal to also be safe. And now what's fun and a new feature in this particular version of the revival of this mod is we can right click on this and actually change what kind of parachute our Kerbals will use. We can either have a round chute or the standard square chute that the mod originally came with. And I find that quite fun. Now, uh, the uh, selection of parachutes is actually thanks to uh, Spanner Monkey throwing his hat into the ring to help a bit. He, uh, I believe, donated his parachute textures and files from his SM shoot mod, which accounts for the round one, I believe, and hopefully more parachutes to come. It would be quite fun to have all sorts of different parachutes at uh, use for your Kerbals. It'd be quite interesting. Uh, but yes, that is basically how these work, the part that is necessary, so let's actually see it in practice. So I have a plane which I named Eject Ares 3A and it is just a simple Ares plane, but of course on the top here I have one of our ejection seat modules. There we go, and uh, yeah, I'll keep it on the round parachute. And yes, that's really all there is to it as long as it's there on that capsule, you're good. So let's launch this thing and have some fun. Now how the ejection system works is via 
the abort button. Or of course, if you hit backspace, which functions as the same thing as the abort button here, and that will basically tell the ejection system, oh crap, get this Kerbal out of here quick. And so let's demonstrate that now. Let's just uh, start flying a little bit. We'll take off briefly and then eject with the abort action group. There we go, take off. That should be good enough and away we go. There we are, you get a beep, 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 and actually a small ejection sound, and then your Kerbal shot away to safety, rather than just being, like, dragged along with the plane, and our parachute will automatically deploy, which is a good key feature here. Now, there is a method to open the parachute just in case. Apparently, there is an occasional bug. I haven't had it personally in my time with this, but sometimes the parachute won't open, and all you gotta do is right-click on the Kerbal and and you'll have an option here to deploy the parachute, or alternatively, you can hold down spacebar and the F key together, and that should open up the parachute. I think that's a remnant of the old mod, because in the old mod, I believe you had to do that. You had to hold spacebar and F together, and I think the auto system is a newer feature, but uh, so far, I have had no troubles with the automatic feature. It, it uh, ejects my Kerbal safely. Granted, he is kind of um, <laughs> on his side there, but look at that, he's safely landed on the ground, and and good to go for another flight while his, uh, oh boy, his plane is eight kilometers up in the sky. <laughs> well, it'll come down eventually. Oh well. But yes, that is the ejection system. Now let's actually revert flight back to the space plane hangar on this thing and actually leave here to go to the VAB to take a look at the three-person launch. And actually we can just go here and I have the eject three so we can show off how it works when ejecting multiple Kerbals, which is a bit different. Of course, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna get the Kerbal out of the door and then launch him off to the side so he gets clear of the Kerbal craft, but of course you have three Kerbals that also need ejecting, so it's going to do them one after the other. And this is where a key thing comes in with uh, the automatic deployment of the parachute. It's a godsend, because of course the Kerbals could get quite scattered apart in distance, but hey, you can don't you don't have to worry about them at all because the uh, parachute deploys and they're safe. So let us launch just briefly. And that, frankly, should be good enough, and let's abort. There we go, there goes Jebediah, and then here's Bill, and then finally, Bob. There we go, and once we actually start falling, the parachute opens. I don't think I pointed that out before. The parachute will automatically open once you fall, so you get ejected away from the ship, and then once you start to fall downwards, boom. That opens up, and we can switch between our other Kerbals now. There's our ship plummeting to the planet. There is Jebediah safely in his parachute. And then we have, oh god, who is that one? Bill Kerman safely with his parachute, and finally Bob safely on his. And uh, yeah, they just will float gently down to the planet, safe and not inside of that that just exploded. And once they hit, I believe it's 150 meters. Oh boy, I really should have ejected them sooner. Let's fast forward a bit. There we go, at 150 meters I believe is when the parachute opens, so let's uh, just sort of try and get close to that point. Now actually, I don't know why this is a thing, but we can uh, fully deploy the parachute from here. I don't know why you would, but uh, at 150 meters on this particular parachute, it does open up automatically. So let us show that off, speed up a little bit more, come on, come on, and... At 200, let's wait for it. There we go, it opened. All right, so a little bit more than 150, but yes, excellent, works perfectly fine. And of course, still our other Kerbals are safely floating down back to terra firma. And if we revert back to the vehicle assembly building, I'll show off what I meant earlier by you don't need just the three person. So if we had, say just, two Kerbals inside of Jebediah and, wait, who was that? Jebediah and Bill. There we are, and if we go back down to the utility tab and just attach two of these single person modules, 
they will deploy both of these guys just as it would if I had the three. And uh, what's fun about this one, though, is I should be, I haven't tried this yet, but I should be able to have different parachutes on both. So we'll have one with a round parachute and one with a square one. Let's launch and see how that goes. Okay, I haven't tri actually tried doing different parachutes yet, so this will be new for us both. Let's hope it works. And let's, oh, nope, wrong key button. There we go, launch, then cut engine, and action group. There goes Jebediah, and there goes Bill. Now let's go down to Jebediah, because his parachute should open. There we go, and he has the square parachute, which, what the heck, if we fully deploy it now. There we are, a lovely square chute with, uh, you know, the nice little, nice little, nice little design. I do enjoy it. And hey, Bill does in fact have the round chute. I like that. <laughs> so yeah, if you wanted each of them to have a different chute, you could just deploy multiples of those things on there and select that, and there goes our ship again good times. But yeah, that is the EVA Parachutes and Injection Seat mod. I love this thing because, well, frankly, it's going to save a lot of my Kerbals. As, yeah, I've I've killed a lot of the poor fools. But yes, if you would like to try out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always, and definitely go have fun with it and keep an eye on it as I'm hoping that we do get some more fun features. Like I said, I'm hoping to see more parachute variations thanks to Spanner Monkey donating his different parachutes into the mod. I think that's quite cool of him. And uh, yeah, I just wait, can't wait to see what other things we might get. But it's a fun mod. Go check it out. Have fun. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this video today and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.